Good morning student. Welcome to your digital electronics video lecture class. I am Jyotin Moy Sahu, lecturer of ETC. So in previous class, uh, we have already taught about different types of flip-flop. There are four types of flip-flop. SR flip-flop, JK flip-flop, D flip-flop and T flip-flop. So in previous class, uh, we have already uh, taught about SR flip-flop. Um, only so today we are going to learn about jk flip flop so the jk flip flop is basically a gated sr flip flop with the addition of a clock input circuitry that prevents the illegal or invalid output condition that can occur when both inputs s and r are equal to logic level 1 so in sr flip flop when both the input s and r is equals to 1 then we have to face one invalid condition so in order to um, so in order to overcome this invalid condition we are using jk flip flop so this is the uh, truth table of jk flip flop in this jk flip flop when both the input are zero at that time the outputs are zero here the outputs are Qn and Qn bar. So here, when J and K both the values are zero at that time, the outputs are uh, no changed. That is either zero or one. Then when the J value is zero and K value is one, at that time the output is reset. That is Qn plus one is reset. That means its value is 0. Then when the value of j is 1 and k is 0, then at that time the output is set. That means the value of qn plus 1 is equals to 1. Then at last when the j value is 1 and the k value is 1, at that time the output is in the complement form. Complement form means here Qn, uh, Qn is equals to 0 and Qn plus 1 is equals to 1. So it is the complement of Qn. 0, 1 is the complement of 0. Similarly, if Qn value is 1, then Qn plus 1 value is 0 because it is the complement of 1. So this is the truth table of JK flip flop. So when both the inputs are zero at that time, the output remain changed. Sorry, no change. That means the output remains same. Then when j equals to zero and k equals to one at that time, the output is reset. That is zero. Then when k value is one, sorry, j value is one and k value is zero at that time, the output is set. That is one. And when j value is equals to 1 and k value is equals to 1, when both the inputs are 1, at that time the output is in the complement form. So this is the true table of JK flip flop. So what is the advantage of JK flip flop? The advantages are the invalid condition in SR flip flop is eliminated in JK flip flop. So here the invalid condition uh, which occurs in SR flip flop that is eliminated by JK flip flop by applying one clock pulse here. So it is the advantage of JK flip flop. Then what is the disadvantage of JK flip flop? When the clock pulse is wide, the output of JK flip flop when j equals to k equals to 1, then the output is fluctuates between 0 and 1. That is the disadvantage of JK flip flop. So, this is all about JK flip flop. Then, next come to D flip flop. So, what is uh, D flip flop? The D flip flop is widely used. It is also known as a data 
or delay flip flop. So the D flip flop captures the value of the D input at a definite portion of the clock cycle, such as the rising edge of the clock. So that capture value becomes the Q output. At other times, the output Q does not change. The D flip flop can be viewed as a memory cell, a zero order hold or a delay line. So, D flip flop is also called a D flip flop. So, D stands for delay. So, it is uh, otherwise known as uh, delay flip flop or data flip flop. If we use only middle two rows of SR or JK flip flop of two table. So, in the true table of SR or JK flip flop, if we are using only the two middle rows, then we obtain the D flip flop. So, it has only one input D or it is the data input for D flip flop. So, here let us see the true table of D flip flop. So, here in this true table, when D value is 0, at that time the output is 0 and when the D value is 1 at that time the output is 1. So the output depends upon the input that is D. When D value is 0 at that time the output is 0 and when the D value is 1 at that time the output is 1. So this is all about D flip flop. Then come to T flip flop. So T flip flop means T stands for toggle. So the T or toggle flip flop changes its output on each clock edge giving an output which is half the frequency of the signal to the T input. So in JK flip flop if J equals to K then the resulting flip flop is referred to as T flip flop. So in JK flip flop, if J input is equal to K input, then the resulting flip flop is referred to as T flip flop. So it has only one input that is T. So here, let us see the true table of T flip flop. In the true table, it is clear that when T equals to 1. When T value is equals to 1, it acts as toggle switch. That is, the output changes its state. So, here when the T value is 1, at that time, here output Qn is equals to 0 and Qn plus 1 is, is equals to 1. So, here the output is toggled. Similarly, here uh, the Qn value is 1 and Qn plus 1 value is 0. So here the output is non-determined, it is toggled. And when the T value is 0 at that time, the output is 0 or it is 1. So when T value is 0, the output remains same, means no changed. And when the T value is 1, then the output is toggled means it is not determined. So these are four types of flip-flop. So this is all about flip-flop. Then come to JK master slave flip-flop. So in next class we will learn about JK master slave flip-flop. Thank you.